Hello everyone! I am doing two vlogs at the same time. So this is also part of my mommy's birthday vlog thing. I don't know what I'm gonna call that. But if you didn't watch that, go watch that. If you haven't, I'm here in Orlando and we're here for mommy's B day for like two nights and we're gonna be eating. So I'll be showing you the food I eat in Orlando. Cause you know, I love food vlogs, i.e. the New York vlog, food vlogs. So check that one out as well. We're going into BBB Tofu House right now. I'm really hoping for some yummy sundubu. And next to it is Meat Fresh, which I think we're going to after. Oh, this is on their menu, Korean food. And in the back, it has their sundubu options and then also combo, which is what I will be getting. I'll be getting the bulgogi combo. And then I'm doing, I want to substitute for this. The kimchi soon. Got some sides. We got some bean sprouts, broccoli, veggies, kimchi, tomato, and egg for our soon do later to crack. This is raw egg, or just like, yeah, that's what you call it, just regular plain egg. And then you crack it on top. You'll see, you'll see. And then it'll cook with the heat. Thank you. Oh, yeah. I'm excited to eat this. <laughs> Eating it like Filipino style almost. I'm using this soup as like soup for my rice and then eating it together at the same time. Oh, it's so hot. So I'll show you how I do it. So I'm going to put some meat to my rice, put my chopsticks down, have my rice that I just showed you. This meat was big. Let me cut it. The soup is so hot. Like, I want to chug my soup, but it's so hot. See me. But it's so good. That's why I want to chug it. Alright. My spoonful. Mmm. The music here is the bop. See, look, there's the kimchi right there. We are walking off our food now. Asian grocery store. That's like right next to it. And this is oh, like the snack aisle. Oh, tea aisle. This flat peach. Boom. Red plum. Wow. I've never seen this before. What the heck? It's like we're in a different state. We're just in Orlando, two hours out. Oh, that's amazing. That's cute. What is this one? Just regular peaches? But there's no fuzzy. That's crazy. That's confusing. Matcha soy milk? Whoa. Did some grocery shopping. LOL. Got some Pagita now. It's a lot of people in here. Oy, oy, oy. <laughs> I got the queso guava, which is like cheese, guava cheesecake. And underneath is the sampaquita, which is like an almond um, with jasmine, hints of flavor of jasmine and something else. It's so cute here. And then uh, look at the sampaquita. I changed my hat again because the other one was like looking weird on my head. So I'm wearing this extra dynamic one from Ash. Anyways, let's try it. Ooh, the Sampaguita one tastes good, mommy. Sampaguita one tastes good. Can I try it? one kind of tastes like... I don't know how to describe it. Not like... Almost like praline, but like light flavor. The cheesecake one is like very, very... Wagba. It's melting already though. Oh, she's gonna make my stomach hurt. Mommy's Hello Hello came. We are getting dessert for Mommy's B Day. Uh, so did doses. You can choose this size. Oh. 
The place was really cute and nice and the people were so nice and helpful. Like everything was kind of in Spanish, but the owner was out there helping us and it's neat. It's like by pound that you, they pay or that you, yeah. It depends you slice. how much. How big you want? Yeah, you they, want there's like a layer. Here's here's my haul of what I got at the Asian store. So I got high chew, a big bag of assorted. So it has mango, grape, apple, strawberry. I got Hello Panda chocolate, and also Hello Panda strawberry and vanilla, matcha or matcha pocky, pokey, almond crushed pocky, strawberry pocky. I don't know. I've just been in a little like snacky mood of this type like with the little graham cracker or whatever like biscuit type thing with like a little filling wow she's the eating her birthday and your matcha cake a birthday cake because it's matcha 12. i got this aloe drink with pulp peach korean and i did end up getting the matcha soy milk so i'll try that tomorrow <laughs> It's like a type of muscle or clam. So got seafood pan fried noodles. We have the shrimp rice roll. I love that. So this is sticky rice. When you open it, I think I've showed this before in a vlog. So when you open it, there's sticky rice with like filling. There's like meat inside like Chinese sausage and other meats. It's really good. Try it. It's so yummy. And you just like eat it like like that, you know? Uh, seafood shomai. Oh well, well, we're still working. I'm full. I am literally in a food coma right now. And I need to go to the bathroom. I'm getting matcha right now because I am in a food coma. I think I forgot to show it, but I got a matcha with ube foam on top. <laughs> We're walking to this mochi donut place that's like around the corner if they still have mochi donuts because they go until it's sold out. Which one do you like? Are you gonna get a dozen, half dozen? We got the dochi dochi. I forget the flavors. One of them, Oreo. I think this cookies and, cookies cream. and cream. This is just regular glaze. This is a chocolate churro. Uh huh. This is matcha, ube fruity pebbles, and this is ube glaze. Ube glaze. Oh, this is taro, I think, and that's yeah. ube. Oh yeah, and the taro pebbles and that ube glaze. Okay, I never, I didn't really talk much about the food. So this morning, the lunch, the dim sum we saw. That's from Y H Seafood Clubhouse. Y H stands for Yummy House which there's like other chains around here in Florida. It was pretty good. I I think it was pretty expensive. There's probably other dim, dim sum places that are cheaper. It was pretty good though. Uh, nice, if you want like something like a nicer dinner. It was like upscale. Yeah, mommy said bougie. <laughs> how did you like the food there? Um, I'm not sure how much the abalone, is that abalone how you pronounce it? Um, uh, I think the only abalone was the one on top, but the dim sum itself, I don't think it is an abalone. I think it is only a regular shomai. But it's good. Yeah, the abalone. Yeah, it's a good, shomai but I we think had. It's overrated. I think the price is. But overall, it is a yummy thing. Yummy house. Yeah, the Avalon Shomai yeah, in please. New York at that one place. I don't remember if I vlogged it before. It's called Mr. Sun in New York. It's a lot better, but of course it's New York. We had Mike, Matcha Maiko, Premium Matcha. Obviously, that's pretty good. It's kind of far out though, so you'll have to see because we're kind of driving a lot around different places. So I got the cheesy fiesta potatoes lol it's so tiny it was like two something mommy got the nacho tacos nacho grande. grande nacho bel grande oh my gosh with, uh, with no beans with no beans i'm probably gonna have some of that oh well, you better hurry up your chips are getting stale let's try this is my first time having it normally i get like the regular stuff chicken you know quesadilla. yeah chicken chicken quesadilla, no, beef quesadilla steak. steak let's try it I mean, I'll probably just try it in one bite because there's barely anything. <laughs> my trying is the whole thing. <laughs> Seriously, like you're trying nothing mm. new. Pretty good. Won't put hot sauce. 
I put mild sauce. Actually, because I really like mild sauce, or the taste of their mild sauce. I can drink this, which I do. Mmm, mukbang, Taco Bell mukbang. Let's put two, make it a sauce. All right, I'm gonna eat. Mmm. That's nice. I'm probably still gonna be hungry. For like little hash browns. I think tomorrow we're gonna eat more before we leave, so. We are here at Banchan now, if you can see. It's like an Asian fusion known for chicken, Korean fried chicken. Here is one side of their menu, the signature fried chicken. Of course, you can get soy garlic spicy or half and half. This is also a chain, so. I didn't get to show you guys the back side, but they have other dishes like fusion though. So if you like fusion Asian food, then this is like a pretty decent place and also, it's a chain, so it's everywhere else, not just Orlando. All right, I had to turn the lights on because it's about to rain, but we got half and half, soy garlic, and then spicy. Coleslaw, pork buns, pork belly, with our daikon. Ooh, yes, that's a lot. It is a pickled radish, which I really love. Right, I'm inside an Asian marketplace. It's called Lottie Plaza Market, and Mommy's doing some grocery shopping, and I want to get some drinks because I'm dying. I'm getting the honey lavender matcha latte. I hope it's good. I heard it's sweet so I like that. I have like other bakery things in here. If you know, you know. But if you don't, that's okay. It's popping here. I love the little bakeries that they have in I don't know, like places. Oh look, honey castella. Ooh, that's good. And then butter madeleines. Red bean. Milk cream bread, that's yummy. Here is the honey lavender matcha latte. I wonder if there's a straw, cause like it's all at the bottom. It's good, just a little pale for my liking. I like it a little more green, more matcha. This is my favorite. She's just doing her whole grocery store shopping here now, I guess. <laughs> this is my favorite shrimp chips. I love shrimp chips. Like even though they're like kind of strong smelling and kind of like people say stinky because it's seafood. Okay, it's really so good. I love that. Auntie loves this one. I also love this one. I have no complaints, but like, I'll prefer this. But if there's this, I'll eat this. I love this. Normally, I like getting these things too, but we have a lot of those. They're basically, you could make them into tea. You put like scoops of this into hot water and mix it. And it's so, so, so good. It's like already sweet too. There's a lot of other types of brands and stuff here as well. They're really good. We like them. Right, mommy? Mm-hmm. Especially if you're sick. Thing, but they're just big, right? Yeah. They're huge. They also have these candies. I really like these candies. If you want like a little bit of a creamy uh, hard candy, these are really good. These are not like gummies. These are hard candy that are like creamy. I really like, uh, they don't have my favorite one here actually, but these are pretty good too. If you want like a gummy candy, I really like these ones. I like this one or this one. Or peach, those are my favorite. Or mango, I like that one too. Oh, yuzu. Oh my, they have strawberry. Those are really good. And they have grape, I don't really like grape. These are also really good. These are like rice crackers, but flavored, like soy sauce flavored. It's not, oh wow, someone's here. Oh my God. Oh boy, it doesn't, say. it doesn't say. It's not that strong of a flavor, it's just like a light soy flavor. A little bit of savory like snack. It's really good too. So if you like sugar cookies, these are almost like rice crack. These are also called rice crackers, but I call them like cookies. They're also flaky, they're sweet versions. Those are really good too. But I don't really get them that often because I don't know. I don't know why, because I wasn't allowed to have so much as a kid. I feel like Miss Remy Ashton right now at the grocery store like giving my recommendations. I've heard idols use this as like a little snack drink. This is three calories. Whatever the heck, so that doesn't really matter. But if it tastes good, I'm gonna show you guys my favorite dumpling, frozen dumpling brand. I really like this one, the O Tasty. And normally I like the pork and vegetable one, I think. Or these ones are pretty good if you don't like meats. Ooh, I'm at their food selection area. And they have this tofu soup. Um, it's like the sundugu, fried shrimp. Ooh, it's warm still, so fresh. Um, buns, dumplings, crab, 
squid, salmon, katsu, and then kimbap. Ooh, dessert thingies, like little rice cakes, almost. I don't know why I'm touching everything. And then the kimbaps. Yummy. I'm not hungry right now, though. There's more here, too. Of, like, seafood pancake, or kimchi pancake, vegetable fried rice, kimchi fried rice, um, japchae. And other fried things, like fried chicken. Here's some sides. I kind of want to get some sides for home. They have, oh, I love that. And this. Do you like your own made Korean barbecue with the sides? Pickled radish, pickled, different type of pickled radish. Tofu, crawfish, kimchi, fish cake with the paste, more fish cake, different types of marinade. These are one of my go-to like ramen brands if I like want like pretty decent ramen. This is the one I really like, like closer to traditional. And this one's pretty, this one's pretty good too. I hope I'm putting you guys on to some stuff. Back here, there's the tofu house we went to, and then we're going to meet fresh though. It's a Taiwanese thing, mommy said. Mommy got the passion fruit and pineapple green tea, and then this is the icy taro ball. Where's the taro ball? This is sweet potato, and those are taro. Wow. Oh yes, some more. All right, I'm going to do a taste test. So this is what it looks like mixed. Let's do a first taste test, baby. Let's try to get everything. Mm. 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 It's so cold. All right, that is the end of the vlog of the food vlog, Orlando food food vlog. If you have any other recommendations in Orlando, if you live here comment them down below. I didn't eat that many things because I was only here for two days and I could only eat so much. I was already in a food coma, okay? Stop yelling at me. Anyways, and yeah, I'll talk to you next time. Peace out. Bye!